I'm Stephanie Havey, and I'm the stage director for The Crucible. So I was first introduced to opera actually through an education program um, with my public school. My music teacher took us to see a free dress rehearsal of the Magic Flute um, at the Knoxville Opera. And I got to sit in the front row, and that experience just changed my life. A few years ago, I worked with Costis on um, an American opera called Shining Brow by the composer Darren Hagen. And it, it outlines the life of Frank Lloyd Wright. And after working on that project, um, we knew that we wanted to collaborate again on, on another American opera. And so when he contacted me about working on The Crucible, um, this is a piece that I've always wanted to direct um, because I feel that it's, it's so relevant and, and it has been since its creation. It's something that really resonates um, with our humanity and, and with our culture. And so I wanted to work on the piece right away. There are many important themes in this work, um, but of course this idea of a witch hunt is something that um, has haunted us throughout history and has shown its face in many different forms. And one of the themes in The Crucible is this idea that those marginalized members of society um, are the ones that are first persecuted. And a sort of mob mentality develops where um, people are choosing sides and it's very easy to um, look at those people who are considered other and to sort of point the finger at them. And then, of course, as we know, um, the witch hunt grows and then all of a sudden really no one's safe. And so this is an important allegory, especially for our time, um, something that we should pay attention to. And, and it asks us this question of what is the other and um, why do we feel the need to demonize someone that we feel is other? Um, this is really why we tell stories. Um, this is why I wanted to tell stories with my career is because I feel that it's important to, uh, to create empathy in the world. And I think by telling stories, we allow people to relate and to connect. And, and we can start to break down those barriers and, and get rid of this idea of otherness. Um, so that's something that's important to me and all of the work that I do. You know what I mean? You're gonna be raised up a little, which can help with that. Because of the themes that exist in this piece, it was very important for me um, to make sure that the audience would come to this story and see themselves in the middle of the story and that they would relate to the characters. And I think that sometimes it's easy for us to look at um, a historical event such as these Salem witch trials and to say, oh, how ridiculous uh, were these people? You know, how could they possibly believe in witches? You know, clearly we know that that's not true, um, we would never believe in such a thing. And um, so what I wanted to do was sort of strip away some of the Puritan um, accoutrement of the story and really present something visually very simple so that your focus is on the characters and the human interaction and that you would really look at the motives of each of the people because when it comes down to it, everyone's just operating out of fear and whether that's a fear of actual witches or whether it's a fear of the loss of power, the loss of control, um, you know, these are the things that we can really identify with. It's witchcraft. I said to Beverly for reverent hail. You spy out witches. No, no. We have no need of him. Not here. This is not witchcraft.